Hello, Cynthia Allen. Uh, listen, I want to give you a round of applause for being back here today. Uh, everyone ought to get a good round of applause for that. I'm giving myself one for me being here, so I think you ought to you ought to get one for sure. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. Yes, and it's been so much fun the last uh, week reading your big ahas. I love the honesty of them, where sometimes it's about something that wasn't so so uh, positive, I guess, but but a definite discovery. And I think sometimes those are the most positive discoveries of all. <laughs> so none of that was a little bit of a twisted statement on my part. And then also the ones which are, of course, very inspiring. I really appreciated reading from someone yesterday how they've been trying to see if they could, could lift their heels at all and whether they could stand and maybe lift them and then could they use their imagination and how they've been really working with that. So it's, it's a fabulous work that people can adjust according to what's interesting or needed for them. And uh, today we're going to be doing a big reveal over how you can keep the progress that you've made or invested in this time already going forward so that you would uh, not lose that momentum. We uh, also are going to be announcing the winner of the Big Aha contest, which meant that you entered to be entered in the drawing, you entered all three, a big aha for all three sessions. And of course that last session, there wasn't a lot of time for, was there? Um, but by golly, several of you managed to get it done from between the, your Zoom session when you watched it live yesterday and then others of you that watched it on replay. I'm gonna probably hold off on that announcement just a little bit, but it's certainly in my mind. So we'll be do it, definitely doing that today. How many of you bounced on heels today? Who did it? Anybody bounce on heels today? Ah, uh, yeah, there's a few. There's a few. Excellent. All, excellent. Excellent. Already starting to build a habit. Yes. Already starting to build a habit. Oh, good. Helen, me and my daughter. Love it. Love it. Already starting to build a habit. So yes, Maggie, great. So, you know, um, somebody wrote in and asked if bouncing on heels was safe for them because they have severe osteoporosis and um, it should be, but I'll tell you, there is certainly a possibility that someone who has severe osteoporosis as they bounce on heels will do a lot of upper body movement instead of staying aligned. So it's so important for someone who has severe osteoporosis when uh, for something even like bouncing on heels where you've had multiple fractures over the last uh, two or three years. Um, you want to be sure you stabilize things so you might put your hands on the chest remind yourself about that tallness, which doesn't mean you'll be able to change your shape dramatically, but we don't want the pressure coming in at, a, at that level of those vulnerable levels. We want to be sure we've got what we can for the motion to go upright. And also just a reminder that when bouncing on heels, 20% less or less effort. So we're not talking about a hard bounce. It's a very light bounce. It's a very light vibration. Um, when we go further in the program, we actually do get into some things that are more uh, robust, like jumping, so, uh, or carrying a weight on your head. So, you know, there's, there's a, a progression that goes on that's really important. Now, you signed up for this three-part series for a reason. You signed up for the three-part series for a reason. You came with something on your mind. Uh, maybe it was some health uh, situation or movement situation for yourself. Maybe it was something you hoped to gain as a teacher of movement or a person in the wellness field. I'd like to hear from you, some of you, what it is, what motivated you? What motivated you? What was the problem you were trying to solve or hoping to solve? 
when you signed up for the program. If you could just pop some of those in the chat, that would be fantastic. Better balance, healing in my vestibular system from Catherine. Mm -hmm. Curiosity of what it is, okay. I wonder what's behind that curiosity. I wonder what's behind that curiosity. Mm -hmm. um, oh, uh, Helen, starting to see my head moving forward and I'd like to change that. Mm -hmm. Maggie, back pain not resolved. Uh, why is it not wanting to let me see hers? Hold the comment. Uh, back pain not resolved. And Maggie, okay, now they're all gonna come in a little bit fast here. If I can get myself back up here on my, I'm having trouble here. Here we go, this will help me a lot. Finally got it better, able to pop it out here. <clears throat> back pain not resolved by good walking, et cetera, from Maggie. Patricia, I have difficulties with balance and with walking. Lori, I was just diagnosed with osteopenia. Rita, definitely want to improve my balance. Retails, uh, self-improvement as I age. Christine, I uh, received a diagnosis of early osteoporosis. Jana, chronic fatigue, pain, chronic pain and fatigue. I would love to feel better. Julie, how to work with osteoporosis, the diagnosis this spring. Mary, balance, posture, eating balance, improved physical education. Sue, better balance while walking, changing direction, walking in the bells on irregular ground. Oh, I haven't ever read that word out loud before in this context. The fells. Are you from, are you from Ireland? Scotland? The fells. England? Oh, I love that. Um, Jean, osteoarthritis plus frozen kneecap limiting mobility on one side, also osteoporosis. Uh, Mary, on a mission to combat fatigue and advanced cat thing advanced can't as I guess I think that might be cancer CA tried an exercise program hate it but it worked this is totally new to me and I love the alternative some some own pain with too much sitting in lower back Marie diagnosed with osteopenia at 79 and got no help from a physical therapist thought that I might get useful insights here Boy, that's a great one. You know what, Marie? I just want to tell you being di diagnosed with osteopenia at 79 is not bad. That is not bad. That's actually pretty darn good. Not osteoporosis, osteopenia. Marsha, more fluid and efficient movement through awareness of spinal alignment. Sue, she's from England. The bells are in England. Uh, Hannah, I need better balance and strength. Nancy, Facing a recommended knee replacement, painful walking. I feel there's something in my habitual weight bearing that led to this problem. Absolutely, so sharp. A replacement without improving weight bearing will be just a return of the problem. Yes. Fells are mountains. Oh gosh, I don't even know what fells are. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I thought they were like a kind of field. And that's just a really ignorant. Um, Eileen, I have both arthritis and osteoporosis. I want to maintain balance and mobility. And I have some lower leg pain. Okay, so you can keep those coming, Mary, painful walking. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go pop into uh, what we're going to get right in here today. And we're going to switch the question here for you. We're going to switch the question. It's important that we know why we came. And then it's important to do what we call future pacing. So what is it that you want for your life right now and tomorrow? And you're starting, to, you're starting to tell us this. You're starting to tell us this in this problem that you're stating, right? So, but some of you state it as a problem and don't state it as what you want. So it's interesting for you to start reflecting on that because I'm gonna ask you a question related to this in a little bit. Let's see. I'm going to ask you a question related to this in a little bit, okay? So you'll be thinking about it as we go along. So here we are we're for our big reveal, which is our autumn session of Bones for Life. We don't always have two sessions. We definitely are going to give it a go this year. We had so many people in the spring that wanted in. 
and we started a wait list. And so we're we're gonna we're gonna dig in there and put out another big program for you, as you can see already with this three part live. Now this is a you know a butterfly and transformation, right? And does anything about this transformation look easy to you? I mean, I do wonder, don't you kind of wonder what that butterfly is actually experiencing? And, and this is important for us that uh, it doesn't really know where it's going, I suspect. It has almost all instinct, probably a feeling maybe just of rightness, of something has somehow right. And then look at the, the gorgeousness of those colors. And we know this shape, this, this shape is gonna be something really incredible for this butterfly as these wings unfold. So your opportunity to change the trajectory of your life really does start now with this program. We can make a big difference for you. I'm gonna be sharing with you an awful lot of comments from past participants. So this is from Beth Rubenstein. She happens to be a physical therapist, but uh, she's really talking here more as a person, right? A person, a, a, like as if she were showing up and seeing her own um, physical therapist. She said, I've been in the field of health and wellness for over 47 years. I'm not easily impressed, which means by movement programs. Uh, I've also had a lot of accidents and injuries. Now I have young grandchildren and I wanna do things with them. I wanna get up and down from the floor. I, you know, she says, I can get up and down from the floor. She already could do that. That wasn't the thing, but she wants to run. She wants to run. Even as a physical therapist and Feldenkrais practitioner, there was always the fear of falling. I feel like Bones for Life has freed me from that fear. When I'm running with either my new little puppy dog or my grandson, I'm feeling every bit of how my foot is on the ground. It's so practical. And this is Beth. And these are her lovely grandchildren. And you can see these are active. And you can also see how if you're scared of falling and you've been diagnosed with osteoporosis, you can see how this maybe walking in these, in these rocks or following these kids wherever they want to go would be a little bit, you know, you might, you might go, ah, is my balance up to that? Am I available to that? I remember... Uh, posting a, 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 a session on which we were teaching how people how to fall, which is way late in the program, and I don't want it to scare you. And Beth said, uh, gosh, I would hope I would be able to do that someday, right? And then later she wrote, she said, here I am, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. So um, Nikki, this is Nikki Owens. Nikki's a wonderful uh, yoga teacher and owns Mint Yoga actually right here in Cincinnati. And Nikki had two injuries when she came to Bones for Life that were really significant. And unfortunately, they both happened in yoga when someone uh, corrected something. So one of them was with her neck and it really caused a significant problem for her for an extended period of time. And one was with a hamstring in which she said, I felt the hamstring tear like a little series of pearls, right? So vivid, so vivid. And so she's actually done some interviews with us about her improvements, but I just wanted to grab this one piece for her, but that from her, the related mostly to her neck. I had a severe injury that wasn't healing. And when I started bouncing on heels, I learned that just a little tap was extremely helpful. I could do that while brushing my teeth or drying myself off. It made such a difference bouncing on heels in the morning and in the evening. And if it sounds like I'm a believer, it's because I am a believer. Christine is in our program just this uh, past year. And I really like this way she's framed it. It's giving my nervous system a break. And in that enormously vast space, gosh, what a statement. In that enormously vast space, I see an infinite, I see infinite possibilities that no other modality has ever given me. Now listen to this next sentence. Here's another big one. I almost didn't sign up, seeing no value in those tiny movements. I was mistaken. Having done the first immersion, I'm, re I'm reaping exponential growth in all the areas of my life because it does spill over into everything I do. 
and I'm looking forward to immersion two and three. She's actually finishing up three right now. Uh, Nettie, I think, Safa, she said, this course has already changed my life. Yesterday I was thinking, now this gives me a little chills. What kind of life can I make now that I'm out of bed? That's, that's something, isn't it? That's something. Mm, that's something. And here is what we call probably our best fan ever, but I couldn't resist also because I found this picture of her with her dog on Facebook. This is Sharana Mueller. And uh, you're gonna hear from Sharana a few times. And it's, you know, when people have something more significant going on in their life, they're of course gonna be um, much more, much more forthcoming in sharing what they feel has happened for them because, because their life was so difficult before, right? So difficult before. When I feel good about my body moving, all of me feels better. Bones for Life has changed my walking and posture 100%. It is not perfect, but it's getting closer with all my back issues and poor posture. I learned so much that I could not learn from several other physical therapists and other classes. These changes increased my comfort and fun level. <laughs> in my daily life. My back no longer hurts with my daily hour-long work, walk, sorry, hour-long walk. All of those of you talking about back pain. Bones for Life has a way of explaining the important details of movement that I have not experienced anywhere else. And she goes on, and I think it's important to hear what else she has to say. I can quickly do many of the processes almost anywhere, anytime, even on my speed walk. So she's figured out how to in, in use them within her actual activities, not always going to a Bones for Life process. The classes are very fun, engaging, and with great teachers, interactive, fun, and engaging. It's a way of life for me. Movement is important and, es and essential for me, especially as my physical therapist said yesterday with my severe scoliosis. If I was not moving, he said I would be much worse maybe surgery. And I took out a sentence, but I want to say the sentence because she says, my husband is in Mayo being having serious treatments and I need to stay strong for him. I need to stay strong. For him. I need to be the strong one. On my speed walk, I passed some young walkers, which feels great to me. Wouldn't that feel good? <laughs> and I am usually asking myself questions about the quality of my walk, monitoring any pain and movements, except when I choose to go dancing along the track in my lane. It's sweet, it's really sweet. Hmm. And this is from Robin. I just finished Bones for Life Immersion 1. Um, already I had felt changes in, already I feel changes in my comfort level of moving. I'm very, I'm gonna to go around my camera. I'm very interested in continuing so I can continue to grow my capacity for moving and being in the world in a safe and more comfortable manner. I have osteoporosis and I wanna feel safe in my movements. I feel like Bones for Life is helping me to address movement patterns that I don't realize I have that create pain. It is surprising to me how my curiosity, so those who feel like it's starting off a little slow and a little boring, I think it gets there. My curiosity is lit by certain lessons and keeps me going. I've also enjoyed the company of others on the journey to feel better and move better in the kind of knowledgeable manner, which is presented by the instructors. Fantastic. I'm gonna read one more and then I think we're gonna, well, maybe I'm gonna read two more. Um, and then we're gonna get into some details about the training. I need to know this. This is from Amy Moore. She's a physical therapist who specializes in working with patients with osteoporosis and Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. So those of you out there, particularly with EDS, you know, you're like, what can I find in the world to help me? I want, I hope, I hope that you will hear this. Uh, so I need to know this for my patients in order to impact them in the best way possible. I signed up for everything including the teacher training on day one. My patients are so scared of refracturing that it takes me a very long time to get them comfortable with trying new things. And as with most things, what's ever good for somebody else is good for us too. I've gotten tons of benefits out of it. I do a lot 
of virtual continuing education and yours is the best system I've ever used. The chapters and replays are amazing. They really are amazing. You know, I agree. We have invested a lot uh, in our platform, our learning platform behind the scenes. Once you sign up, you get access to uh, our learning platform. I agree, Amy, it is amazing. My patients love this work. My osteoporosis patients move with less fear and feel they are in total control. That's huge. Yeah, that is huge. That is huge. Ellen, uh, who struggles with chronic regional pain syndrome, and but if you happen to be someone with CPRS or you know someone, I have to say I didn't realize this was going to be such a good fit for some of these folks, but she is not the first person. In fact, we have someone who's uh, going through the program right now and even signed up to become a teacher, and that wasn't her original background, but she really feels it's benefited her as well. So I'll read what um, Ellen has said. I heard a lot less than I did. When I get up, I ask myself, what is it I want right now? I might focus on my ribs that allow me to breathe and allow me to move more freely. It's really gentle. If I have 15 minutes, I can do a quick bones for life process. I can use it in response to what my need is at the time. I had gotten used to living with a 30 year old back injury, but I noticed it doesn't hurt anymore. Oh. So, do you feel the, the, the hope, the transformation, the connection there, the connection? And we do connect in our online learning programs. We do begin building community with each other. Not only is this a Bones for Life process here done with partners called Pull Hands, and it really allows you to find some strength and alignment in a new way. But you can see also we're connecting with each other and enjoying each other. Now, it won't look like this exactly online, but you will you know, can bring a partner that day to explore this particular movement sequence. So I'm gonna go into the details of joining for your own health or continuing education in a moment. But I think now could be a really good time to announce the winner. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to do that real quick. Hmm. The winner, winner. I don't know where I was. Apparently my head was under a rock. I never heard the statement winner, winner, chicken dinner until last year when our project manager, Carla, Arlene Klein used it. Now I love it. So I just got to say it because I love rhymes. I was raised at the father who was always coming up with uh, oddball rhymes to use. So are you ready to celebrate our big aha contest winner? Yeah. Okay. Be ready to put your hands up in the air for, for her, even if it isn't you. I know you want it to be you, but even if it isn't you, our winner is Rose Alessandre. Rose Alessandre, yeah. Ah, Rose, I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited for you. I don't think she's here today, but Katrina, uh, your support person right now here on the uh, here with us today, we'll be contacting her and we'll be announcing it also by email. And so now you'll find out what she actually is is winning, right? She's got, she's actually winning. So let me go back to the share screen again. So you can join us for your own health or continuing education or to become a teacher. But this first, these first few slides are for those of you who are not thinking you wanna be a teacher so much, I'm going to get into the teacher details in a minute, but those of you who are looking for it for more your own health and continuing education. Now they actually all start the same place, which is, which is with a single immersion or the immersions one through three. A single immersion is uh, the cost is $475. And that's what Rose just won. That's what Rose just won is a single immersion. We do package them as phase one, immersions one, two, and three. And when you go ahead and commit to all three immersions, you save $200.
Now you saw that some of the people were saying, I'm looking forward to two in their comments, I'm looking forward to three. Some of those people signed up from the beginning, but some of them didn't. And so those of you who don't, you don't get that savings. And I really encourage you to think about signing up for all three. And I'll tell you um, some exceptions to why you might not want to in a moment. Um, yes, congratulations, Rose. I love that Eileen that you're putting it out there for her. Just making sure I don't miss anything in the comments here. So um, this is also where teachers start because you don't know anything about Bones for Life. So in order to go into the official teacher training, you do have to start with these, uh, these phases, but I'm gonna talk again a little bit more about that. So what is an immersion? An immersion is 20 hours of classroom instruction. So the phase one is basically 60 hours and it starts the week. It's a five week program. Each immersion is a five week program. Immersion one starts the week of August 13th. You get to choose between three different dates and times. You can choose between Sundays from 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. You can choose Mondays, 10 a.m to 2.30 p.m. And these are all uh, Eastern Daylight Time, New York. Or Wednesdays and Fridays from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Now that's both days so that it adds up to the four hours or adds up to the same amount of time as Sundays and Mondays. It actually usually ends at eight, but we've started saying 8.15 just because a couple of times it's needed to run over and we try not to run over. Well, this is exciting. You can mix and match. So even though you will be asked to choose a primary date and time, and we hope you'll be able to come there most of the time, you can turn around in the same week and say, look, I had a doctor's appointment that day. I couldn't get off. I had uh, went on vacation and you can watch a different session. So you can participate in a different session. It's pretty, pretty seamless. Now the deadline to sign up for the program is Thursday, July 27th. So you don't have a ton of time to make that decision. I think that decisions that you have to ruminate on over and over and over again are ones that mostly don't happen. So um, really, if this is of interest to you, please be sure you stay in the conversation and uh, let us know what your questions are so we can keep moving forward with you and making sure you help, help you make a good choice. One of the things that my team and I pride ourselves on is we do not pressure people into making a choice that isn't right for them. So if you tell us, tell me, tell me what's going on with you or what your struggle is, we will absolutely do, a, I think, do a really good job helping you with that. I'm gonna sign out of this so it doesn't ding you anymore. So sorry about that. Um, you'll, I think you will have a really, um, you know, we can be fruitful in helping you make a good decision for yourself. The teachers, the primary teachers for the phase one immersions, you've met two of them, Brian Shercliffe. He's our team lead, if you will, for the immersion teachings, Andrea Tuft. And new this year is our teacher from New Zealand, Christine Cutbush. And she did not show up because it's the middle of the night for her all the time. And she'll be teaching in the Wednesday, Friday evening groups because it'll be the next morning for her. Um, fabulous teachers. I know them all well. And uh, you will be blessed to have them as a part of your life. That is amount is in US dollars. It is in USD dollars. Now I wanna say just a little bit more from Sharana cause she just kept going. Plus who can resist seeing her and her dog like this over and over again. So Sharana continued and she said, it really is worth every penny, it really is. I know more about what to do. And if I have problems, there are specific processes to help. I took all three immersions and I'm now reviewing the replays for even more learning. Each time I go over the process, the learning and know myself better. I know myself better, a deeper understanding and awareness, a deeper understanding and awareness. The sessions absolutely are recorded. This is what she's saying. And you have indefinite lifetime, whatever that means in our lifetime, uh, that would be mine and Larry's lifetime, uh, you will have them. So it's really valuable. And many, many people go back and do the replays. That's also what, um, 
uh, Amy was saying before about the platform that, oh my gosh, those replays, the chapters, the whole system is the best I've ever seen. And I take a lot of continuing education. So I got to tell you, we feel good about hearing that for sure. Now, uh, I want to say something else that if you have financial difficulties, we have a number of um, limited scholarships or partial scholarships. So you will see information when I get you over to the page where you can sign up, you'll see information in the frequently asked questions about applying for a partial scholarship. And you'll also uh, be able just to reply to any email and ask for help with that. So how confident are we that you are going to benefit from Bones for Life? We're pretty, pretty confident, pretty, pretty confident. If you do the work, that means you either show up to the classes or you watch the replays and you mark those replays complete so we know that you've done them and can take a look at your usage of them. And you do not experience any improvement in your immersion one as a result of immersion one and you ask for a refund before September 29th. That's before immersion two begins. We will refund your registration fees in full. Now, improvement means not everything you wanted, but something. And we found that people are very, very honest about this. They are very honest about this. So we have confidence that you're going to get improvement. You'll start getting improvement within Immersion One. And that um, if you don't, we're going to be very happy to refund your money. Lorraine, Lorraine Vicetta. Lorraine Vicetta. Lorraine is a Pilates teacher, a fitness teacher who uh, took the teacher training. So I'm going to start maybe moving a little bit into the some of the ideas around the teacher training, and then we'll take any kinds of questions that you have. And she shared that when my classes are over for Pilates and we come to stand, I watch people wipe off their mats go get their phone and their shoes or go to the dressing room. It's almost like I see their old habits creeping back in. With Bones for Life, I'm not seeing that. I see something different, a posture that is muscular, that is held, it's sustained. Not an uprightness that quickly goes back to the old slouch. Hmm. And I do think this is one of the things that Bones for Life excels at is that it's not uh, the changes are not specific to the class, but you begin to feel them going with you, showing up with you. So you can join us for your own health plus or continuing education plus the teacher training. And if you do that and you sign up now for the entire thing, the entire phase one plus phase two teacher certification, the fee is uh, $3,500 and you'll save $400. And what does it include? It includes a super convenient payment plan once a month at a low rate so you are not so overwhelmed. Three hard copy manuals with details of the processes and uh, explains the rationale from Ruthie Alam behind the processes. We are only allowed uh, by our national organization to make these manuals available to people who sign up for the teacher certification. A private discussion group, which gets well used, access to the replays of classes that I use to teach with, for people with limited mobility. So you get a lot of ideas about how to adapt to special needs. The teacher training program is a total of 210 hours. You get 60 of those hours in the original uh, phase one, segments one through three. And then when you go on to teacher certification, you get 90 classroom hours with me, 36 hours of practice teaching, which you arrange with your own family, friends, colleagues, clients, 24 hours of mentoring assignments from me and meetings with me, uh, up to three private men mentoring meetings with me, which most people feel is, is sufficient. There are a couple things to think about if you're gonna become a teacher that is certified by me, because I have a couple of requirements. And one is that right from the beginning, from immersion one through, you attend 75% of the sessions live, mostly with your camera on um, for certification, and that you will come for a final seven days to an in-person retreat. Now that retreat uh, might be on the front end for those of you in New Zealand, I'm trying to get people signing up for the teacher training for next year to consider doing the retreat 
that we're holding for this series is just ending. So we have enough people to hold that retreat each time. So uh, for people coming to the United States, which is the vast majority of you will be doing the one in the United States, that retreat will be in the United States, uh, in Cincinnati, Ohio. But for those of you who live really much, much closer to New Zealand, where it would be much more affordable to travel um, and not have to do things in US dollars, uh, this is an option. It's a shorter one, and you have to do some of it then on uh, replay with me from my retreat. Why do we do this? Well, I, I'm really insistent about this because there are several processes that are very difficult to teach online. There's 90 total. You're going to get around 70-ish in the immersions one through three, you, um, you are gonna be really able to hone in on how to observe others in movement in a very detailed way. We can do some of that on Zoom, uh, but not, as the, not at the level of quality that I would like. You'll learn the quality of touch that we use when we do assist students, which is very different than what we heard from Nikki, who is reporting as a yoga trainer and teacher herself, how she was hurt by other yoga teachers in adjustments. So very important difference in how we touch. And then also experience the dynamics of what happens once you're teaching in person. You will be studying primarily with me and there may be assistance as well within the program. So why would you, why would you do this now? Well, you know, life just keeps happening. And you want a way to keep yourself moving forward in a positive, positive way, right? Also, for the first time in a long time, we're going to have a significant price increase for next year's program. So now is a really good time to think about it. Now is a really good time to think about it. Let's see here. Uh, uh, Manette, you can definitely email us uh, to, to talk about whether it's right for you, and then we'll figure out whether we need to do a phone call or not. Email support at futurelifenow.com, and then we'll figure that out. Absolutely interested in talking to teachers. Um, and now, let's make, keep going because I want to keep signing you up. Plus, oh, by the way, when you sign up, you get to keep this three-part series that we just did. Uh, those of you who do not sign up, this three-part series will go away a week from today. Today is Wednesday, yes. It will go away a week from today, a week from today. And then uh, actually eight days from today, next Thursday is the date for the deadline to sign up for the um, program. Now you can start visiting for yourself, bonesforlife.us. And I am going to uh, stop my screen share here for a moment, and I'm going to take you over so you can see what it looks like, because I want to help you just a little bit, because it's got some complexity to it, right? Because, um, because we are, in fact, offering you a lot of things to choose from. So that means there's going to have to be some complexity to it. We're not just narrowing it down to just one. And why do we not narrow it down to just one? Well, because of your schedules, but also because we limit the number of people in each group. So you're not getting a group where we, we admit hundreds. We admit 50 to each group. I think that's a pretty, for an online program, that's a pretty doggone dedicated uh, process that we're using to make sure you get some good uh, good quality interaction with each other and the teachers. Uh, yes, the phases two and three will be happening this year as well. And so I'm gonna share my screen so that you can um, see how that's gonna work. Okay. So this is what the actual page bonesforlife.us looks like. And you can see up here your your uh, deadline for it. Is it easy enough to read? Is it too small? It looks really small on my screen. Let me see, is it all easy enough to read? Katrina, does it look larger on your screen? Mine is tiny. It's a little small. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if I can get it to bump up here. Come on, bump, bump up. Come on, you can bump up for us a little bit. 
I have a gigantic screen, so I think it got really small on me as part of that. Yeah. Okay, this is much better, huh? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect, darling. Perfect. Okay, so you'll start with these big questions. What would it be like for you to have confidence and balance walking in vitality and then pass it on to others? Whether you're going to be a teacher or not, I believe you're going to pass it on to others. I have this incredible video from our research project. I think her name was Shirley. This research project it was a while ago, maybe 10 years ago. A little longer, actually, I think now. And uh, she tells this great story. She was in the class for six weeks and she, they, they learned, they were in the average age, as you remember, was mid seventies. And they were learning all kinds of things, including how to spiral up and down from sitting. And Shirley tells this great story of uh, walking down the street. And she saw that a neighbor who she really didn't know, an elderly gentleman older than her uh, had fallen on the sidewalk. And so she, I think she was driving by, but she stopped and she actually got out and talked to him and said, uh, you know, are you okay? And he said, I, I think I'm okay, but I don't know how I'm going to get up. And she said, well, here's what we're going to do. You're going to put your hand there. You're going to put your foot here. You're going to swing this arm around. You're going to take your head down. And then she said, she says so delightfully, and whatever you do, keep that ass up in the air. <laughs> She was so excited to have shared this with someone when they really needed it, right? Super valuable. So even if you aren't going to become a teacher, I feel confident that there's going to be tidbits of things you're going to share with other people because the enthusiasm and the need is great, right? It's great. And then we're going to get down into a lot of uh, things that we've already talked about because some people will be visiting this and have not watched this. So you, we're just going to scroll down some of this more quickly here. And here it is where we start to get into talking really about the process. So phase one is for everyone. And it tells you what you're going to get in those three immersions. It repeats the pricing here. And then it gives you the dates for immersion one, immersion two, and immersion three. Now you'll be signing up for either all three our recommendation, unless you feel you're fragile and you're just not sure if it's right for you because of fragility, or you already know your schedule isn't going to allow that to be helpful to you to do all three, you do need to take them in order. They build on each other. Uh, and it gives you the available date options for each of these immersions. So you can easily, easily see them and put them on your calendar now. And then if you want to go on to commit to being a teacher, uh, I can give you the dates now for everything except the retreat. Actually, Katrina, can we make a note that we want to add those somewhere? Maybe they're here somewhere. And then you're going to see a series of statements. This is what it's going to look like to you. And it says ready to take action. And you're going to see a series of statements. You want to stick so you want to click on the statement that fits you. This is going to give you the specific details and registration that you need. I want to take this for my own health only. Nothing else. That's what you're doing. It. I may want to teach Bones for Life, or I do want to use it for continuing education. Then you click on that one. I know I want to be a Bones for Life teacher. You would click on this one. If you're somebody who studied with this in the past, and you took immersion one and stopped, then you want to know how you could continue. That would be the last one. That would be the last one. Okay. When you click on this, it's going to give you what is included in the, in the process. It'll repeat your date options. And then when it says click here to join, it will take you to an actual checkout page where you can join. Now, also at the bottom, kind of close your eyes, kind of going to go way down here is the frequently asked questions. And if you need to apply for a scholarship, you would click on the, do you offer scholarships? Okay. Let me see what I missed here in the questions. And yes, the retreat itself is included in the $350 price, but that does not include the room and board and your travel. So the retreat cost of the instruction is included, um, but it is not included in your room and board is not included or travel. 
And Jana, could you please let me know how long we have to watch these three lessons? You have one week, one week if you don't sign up for the program, one week. Did I miss anything else? I don't think so. So some people leaving. Why would anyone leave? This is so riveting. Okay, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, so I'm just giving you a little tidbit of how that page is gonna look. So when you get over there, if you get confused, you maybe have a little bit of a way to grab on to remember what I said. But our team, Katrina, Cherry Rose, Brooke, Arlene, they really wanna help you. So if you're just having problems navigating, registering, if you're just having problems registering, navigating, registering, uh, if you're having problems uh, understanding which choice is the best one for you or to, how to apply for the scholarship, just email us. We'll put that in the chat again, support at futurelifenow.com and uh, or reply to any email you get from us and tell us what you need help with. And the team will absolutely uh, start the process of helping you go through the steps that are important to you. They want to help. We want to help. Uh, your learning body, Jana, the membership that you're talking about is a Feldenkrais program. This is a completely separate program from Feldenkrais. Although you have a tiny little bit of your uh, bones for life inside of your learning body. Um, beautiful. Uh, I think I'm going to go back and just finish it up here with a couple more items, right? So for those of you who are teachers who wonder, like, is there anything special about this teacher training? I think there is. This is Mary Rudd. Mary is a Feldenkrais practitioner after having a full career as a teacher. And in her fat last year, she taught teachers how to teach. So she shares here that um, in her seven years post Feldenkrais training, she decided she wanted another formal training to enhance and refine and add knowledge. And that the current Bones for Life teacher training is exceeding her expectation and needs. Cynthia's training is structured for meaningful, in-depth learning by placing students in the role of a BFL teacher, Bones for Life teacher, doing the studying, planning, preparing, and teaching what actual teachers do in their practice. The emphasis on student collaboration combined with uh, Cynthia's feedback has helped me to find my language for the work I do. And by the way, she just got to present to a large uh, group of, I think it was psychologists and just had an incredible response to wanting to work with her. Um, I have so appreciated the safe space and this is, comes up a lot. This comes up a lot in the comments from the teachers that, uh, that I have been able and that together we are able to create a safe pay, pay space to practice the work, to make mistakes. Totally what we need the freedom to do to grow. We need to be able to make mistakes, whoops, and get useful prep and use, get useful feedback before I begin teaching uh, bones for Life to members of the public. And then a last one from Roma, who had a big background in academics, academic academia, and then also became an eccentrics teacher and loves her eccentrics work. She says, I turned 69 in a few weeks and I've been through many trainings and certifications in my adult life. This is by far, hands down, the best I've experienced. I gotta tell you, that feels fantastic to me. That feels fantastic to me. The teacher training has really impressed me, blown me away actually with its supportive and effective learning environment and how it's all carefully organized. We work as one low, large cohort at times, breaking it to various small groups at others, using an online platform to share thoughts articles to discuss when not in class. We form study groups, all of which I found to be very rewarding. Um, and I'm going to skip down to this last sentence, even though it's not something I highlight a lot. I think since she highlighted it, it's important to highlight it. 
we can market ourselves and find a clientele. This is a crucial aspect I have not encountered in any other training I've taken. I've left those trainings thinking, well, now I know how to teach this, but how do I get students? In this program, we learn ways to speak about a movement approach that excites us, Bones for Life, in a way that will pique the interest of others while staying true to our own unique voice and personality. Hmm. So before I go into the question and answers, I'd like to ask you, what will your life look like one year from now if you join Bones for Life? If you join Spoon for Life now, what will it look like in one year from now? What can you imagine for yourself? So just take a moment to be quiet. You have this need that you stated at the beginning, and then you take the program. How will your life look different? What will it be like? What will you be doing? What will you be, uh, what will be the emotional tone of your life? What will be the possibilities that have emerged for you? When you're ready, let yourself dream about that by putting something in the chat. Um, that, that indicates what you can see and envision for yourself. What can you allow yourself to envision for yourself a year from now? You've gotten so much from this three-part live series. Most of you, not all, some of you are like, I still don't know what I'm getting, still don't know. That's okay, that's okay. We heard from somebody who said, I almost didn't sign up because I didn't really feel much, but something in her said, it's right. What will your life look like? Pop that under the chat. Maggie. <clears throat> Maggie says, I would add somatic teaching to what I'm currently offering. A practice that's based in bones and body, not the spiritual and expressive arts only. Mm. Jean, walk with ease, kayak with ease, travel with confidence. Ah. I'm, I'm into those, the first and the last. I, I'm, not, I'm not a person that would want to go kayaking, but I love that first and last one. Lynn, I'm a Feldenkrais teacher for the last 25 years. Is there new information? I knew Ruthie personally. That, that's a question. I'll take that later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there's definitely way new information. Lots of people have taken the training that have had been long-term field of Christ practitioners. Uh, Mary, continue walking my path with consistency and confidence and balance, not just physical, but wholeness, wholeness. Jane, a self-confidence, moving in the world that has eluded me since mental and physical conditions diagnosed where I have retreated, Ah, oh, yeah, I've retreated into myself and hidden away. Mm. Coming out, she sees herself coming out. Uh, Nancy, I can once more walk with confidence, be active, hiking, bicycling, able to do Feldenkrais lessons and teach, feel like I have a life. Mary, walk with ease, walk with grandkids, hand in hand. Mm. Lynn, I, I almost put your testimonial in, Lynn. I almost did. It was just, I could, I just like, it was like, oh, it was hard not to put you in because she's posting. I found the transformation with what, by doing two immersions, a smiling confidence has been found. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. You can keep those coming. Look at them. <clears throat> Here's some ideas of how life might look for you a little bit more active. Again, you will go to bonesforlife.us and sign up and start awakening, continue awakening your biological optimism. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, Rose made it. Rose, Rose, Rose who won, she's here. She says, I will be enjoying doing all the things I have, always love to do. I will be experiencing the joy of teaching others what has given me a new lease on life. Mm. Edie, actually enjoying traveling and doing all the things that I put off for so long. It's been such a shock not to be able to do, to do what I took for granted for so long. Mm. Mm. I'm with you. I'm with you. Brian, Andrea, and Christine will be with you. They will be cheering you on. And when you're discouraged, they will be there for you. And they're not going to lecture you. They're going to be there with you. Your other students will be there with you. So I'm going to start going into some questions now. And I'm going to pop back up. Uh, good, Manette. Best. Absolutely. Contact us so we can talk about it. Uh, pop back up to some things, just a couple of things that were questions that, um, yeah. So Lynn, who took the Feldenkrais, been a Feldenkrais teacher for 25 years, is through new information. I mean, I, all I can say is, uh, you know, like Beth Rubenstein, long-term Feldenkrais practitioner, loved Loved, loved the training. Also knew Ruthie. Um, I'm trying to think anybody else quite that long. I have quite a lot of Feldenkrais practitioners that have come through, but more 25 years, maybe not as many. Uh, I'll tell you, I remember, I remember a trainer. Uh, I won't say her name because I didn't ask for permission. A Feldenkrais trainer who came to Cincinnati to take the training with uh, Ruthie. And the trainer said, uh, Ruthie has out Alexandered Alexander. And she just kept going on and on about what she learned through the uh, immersions. I can't remember if she did the didactic as well as not, but I know she was just definitely there for the three immersions. I just can't see in my mind quite clearly how long she continued after that. Um, so she, she came and took the work with Ruthie personally when we had Ruthie. Um, Mary, are there people that have classes on Bones for Life that are not other kinds of therapists as well? Yes, there are, Mary. Um, so anyone who wants to, thinks they might want to become a teacher can definitely learn to be a Bones for Life teacher. I mean, as long as you're dedicated to the process and you can't just like, you know, do nothing, but as long as you're dedicated to the process, you do not need to be a physical therapist. You do not need to be a Pilates teacher. You do not need to be a yoga teacher, a Centrix teacher, Feldenkrais teacher. Um, currently in the program, I think we have in the current teacher training, I think we currently have three three, maybe four people who had no other background in a movement modality. They're doing great. Uh, again, we really create a great environment for people to learn and explore in. It's an easier process, I think, of course, um, for people who already have practices to then start teaching classes because they've learned a lot about the process of teaching classes. So that piece after the training where you go out and you end up with people who will study with you, it might take a little bit longer than somebody who's already had their foot in that world, but you can be a fabulous Bones for Life teacher and not have these other backgrounds. What is the site SVP? I don't know what that means, SVP. Sorry, I'm not a good texter, so that's probably some part of texting. Let me go on down now back on the list to see what else is coming in. And if you want to raise your virtual hand and ask your question live, I'm happy to, to take that. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Lori. Yeah. Did I cover everything? I did a good job. You don't need to even ask any more questions. Virtual hand, if you want it, is at the bottom under reactions. You can click reactions and have a face-to-face -face or voice-to-voice -voice conversation with me. Click reactions and then click the raise hand. On an iPad or phone, you probably have to tap at the bottom of your Zoom screen to get a menu to appear and click on more to find reactions and then raise hand. Review the costs for all, okay. 
Yes. And what was the, will you teach phase one, please? No, I will not be teaching the phases in phase one. I do come in, I do what I call cameo appearances, which means I come in for like two and a half hours, usually at a time, uh, two, two and a half hours. Uh, <clears throat> oh, of course, that's what that means. Sure, sure. Okay, now I'll have to try to figure out what it means in the context of your sentence. <laughs> so I'll go back up there. Um, uh, so I will I will be uh, working with them, and uh, but I I know you're in super good hands. So I had to make decisions right about how many things I can do, but I also wanted to make decisions about making sure that there was a group of Bones for Life teachers coming up behind me for the days when I'm no longer teaching and it's a responsible thing to do. I really love teaching it, but it's a responsible thing for me to do. And these three people are great. Um, there is nothing in Europe with me, Karen. Uh, you can search in Europe for potential Bones for Life trainings, but I'm not able to arrange a Europe um, retreat at this point. Yes, how do you enroll? Donna, you go to Bones for Life dot us and then you click on one of those big bold buttons that says uh, something like i'm ready and sign up that way so and it'll take you over to a registration page it's a great great question and the, it says click here to join they all say i think they all say click here to join i think yeah click here to register click here to join That'll do it for you, bonesforlife.us. And uh, so now let me go back up to Lynn's original statement and put RSVP in the context. Okay, yeah, so bonesforlife.us, Lynn, bonesforlife.us and now I'm going to go down and review the cost for everything with um, with Maggie or Maggie. So I'm going to go back over to. So <clears throat> I'm going to get down here on the page where it's at, and then I'll share the screen so we don't so we don't I don't give you uh, those horrible screen scrolling kind of headaches. Okay, so uh, I have scrolled down. I hit one of those buttons that said uh, click to register. And I scrolled down here um, where it says to be phase two, Maggie. And so it describes again, the entire program phase one and two is 210 hours. Let me make that just a little larger for you even. And uh, ending in teacher certification, it starts in August of 2023 and continues in January 2024, probably will be the first week of February, actually, and the dates for the teacher training. The teacher training is held only on Saturdays. This is actually important, only on Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. So even though we do have several people from, uh, I think we've got Hong Kong, Japan, New Zealand, and Australia right now. Uh, they're coming in the middle of the night to be at the teacher training. So the, the option for them that's convenient is the retreat. I'm, I'm amazed that these people are doing this. Um, but they're doing great. I mean, great is dedication. You get the inclusive fee of $3,500 for both phases, and that saves $400 when you sign up and at now at this time. Okay, let me take this. Yeah. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Okay, I think we're good, people. I think we're good. I'm excited to uh, see you register and uh, welcome you into the program. And again, if you have any questions at all, you will contact uh, support at futurelifenow.com. Uh, and if you, uh, if you, um, uh, need help, you need to speak 
specifically with me, not technical, not dates, not pricing, the staff can take care of that, but you need specifically to speak with me, uh, interact with me about your particular medical situation, movement situation, or you need to talk to me about whether teacher training is right for you, just ask to talk with me about that, but they'll, they'll, they'll screen and pass it on to you as well. Uh, Maggie, Saturdays for teacher training dash other modalities. I don't know what that means, uh, other modalities, I'm sorry. But yes, it is on Saturdays for the teacher training. That's the only choice is teacher training on Saturdays. Got to have enough people together to produce a really uh, good training for you. So I'll wait just a minute in case I don't understand something about other modalities that I should. You may raise your hand. Okay, go ahead, speak up, dear. I'm not hearing you yet. I'm not hearing you, Maggie. How about now? All yeah. right. So teacher training is the culmination, and that's the only one taught on Saturdays. Correct. Okay. All right. So if I, yeah. So if I have to cancel some Saturdays, it's not canceling a whole year of my work. Okay. All right. No, I, I mean, it, it'll be 14 Saturdays next year and I, um, it won't be the whole year. You get, you do a few, you get a little break, you do a few, you do a little break, you do a few, you get a little break. So it'll be 14 Saturdays in 2024, assuming that we have enough people for the teacher training. I do have for all of these immersions, we have to make sure we have enough people for you to, uh, have a quality learning experience and also for us to pay the teachers but um that's generally not a problem but i i always need to say that so it goes from january till when it, the, it'll end in june it'll be done yeah. in june and then there'll probably be a break between then and the retreat will probably be in november so that you can do your student teaching as much as your student teaching and mentoring before we do the retreat. I think it will be a much better experience for people if I wait uh, on that part. And uh, Lynn, yeah, I thought I had given the uh, dates to the staff. So I'm just gonna find out about that and we're gonna add those to the, uh, the site um, for you, okay? Um, Yeah, don't put in the WW and everything will be okay. Everything will be okay for you. Sorry, I just confirmed what the cost is for a year. Uh, the cost for a year, just for the first year, phase one, which is three immersions. I had to look back each time because I'm so bad with numbers, is $1,225, $1,225. I've heard that people get better with numbers and math with somatic education. That never happened for me. I'll just <laughs> details, dates, things like that. I, you just, everybody on the staff is like, watch Cynthia with names, watch her with dates, watch her very carefully. <laughs> uh, can some of the teacher training be done on replays? Uh, 25%. 25% can be done on replays. Uh, uh, after that, uh, we need to have a serious conversation because it's very important that the group is interacting together. It's very important that I can see your movement and I can see how uh, you're progressing along. So replays does not allow for any of that. So very important um, that you attend 75% uh, of it live. Now, of course, things happen. Sometimes things happen and people have, end up having to pull back. You can pick up in a, in another year and finish things out. So it's not like the whole thing falls to pieces. Uh, it just means you would not necessarily graduate in the time that you had originally thought you would be able to graduate in. So uh, the good thing is we're organized. We've got things going on so we can, you know, definitely keep you keep you coming back looping you back in if that's what you uh desire uh the and other thing i guess maybe before i quit is the refund policy is the same for everything you really have your chance to um you really have your chance to experience the power of the work in immersion one and if that is not working for you 
then that's when you ask for a refund. After that, we're not issuing refunds because we're committed to you and you need to be committed to you. So just be aware that re the refund policy goes through immersion one. You have a two or three weeks to uh, watch the replays and then say, hey, I didn't get any improvement. I've never had anybody tell me that, but you know it's there. So um, I just wanna be sure that you understand that about the refund policy. Okay, yes, Elizan, uh, uh, Rose, we will, we, will have the, um, we will have the teacher schedule for you soon. Okay, everybody. Oh, Barrett. Okay, I'm gonna take another one. I'm here. Just Barrett, a quick question. Yeah. Just a, just a quick question. So um, Bones for Life is to help balance and structure. It's not necessarily building new bone or it is. I just wanted to clarify that. Well, we think we hypothesize. I mean, you can't say it's building bone. That's right. Now. We hypothesize that it's building new bone. I want to be very honest that we're in the, you know, we're in with all kinds of people that, uh, don't have solid, repeatable proof that it builds new bone. Our biggest thing that we can say is it definitely improves balance and it incre decreases your fall risk. And that's what most everybody can say, although some people can't even say that. It turns out that some of the modalities don't even test well for reducing fall risk. Um, so Does it I can help you be more upright, uh -huh. like correct forward head posture, mm -hmm. uh, imbalances like that. Absolutely. I, absolutely. Okay. And all those things that people shared in their testimonials up till now, which were so incredibly powerful, being able to walk and run with confidence without pain, feeling like their nervous system is calm and they have some space inside them. Uh, these things are huge. They, and the more you are able to be more upright, uh, every time you approximate a little bit more uprightness, you, you improve your balance, you improve your quality of movement, guess what? You move more. This is the big challenge of therapy is, is do people do their exercises? Most of us don't, they're boring. And do they get out and move more? And the Bones for Life work carries forward. She was brilliant, brilliant, brilliant at embedding the items that go with good balance, good posture, good function, so that it would carry forward with you. Uh, so that you can be more like Sharana, who says, like, I can, I can feel as I'm walking, what's the quality of my walk? And then I have little things I can do for myself. I can stop on the track and do something right there that would make a difference for me. That's, that's pretty powerful. That's pretty powerful. Yeah. Does that help, Vera? Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm a skier. I'm, I don't have balance issues, but I have structural issues. Mm -hmm. And I really want to take the class. I did your um, foot class, better uh -huh. feet class. And I loved it. But it does, I, I don't know what I retained from it other than intellectually. Ah, so you didn't, you didn't find things to practice over and over again. From it. Well, I didn't remember. I didn't make time. I mean, uh -huh. I didn't, so I'm. Yeah, it's, so not, I'm just, it's not simple. Those are those are important things to know about yourself. It's not simple. One thing I will say with the Bones for Life program is that when it's over, we give you options for how you could continue sometimes in a weekly class, but we need everybody to be through the material. We don't want to be covering different levels. Mm -hmm. And um, we also give you options for joining and, and forming uh, volunteer peer led groups. Um, and, and if people step forward and wanna lead a group and time works for you, or you step forward and you wanna lead a group and other people join you, some of those groups meet for years and those are free. So I think they're really valuable to helping to keep people engaged, engaged. Mm -hmm. Thanks. No, I, lo I love the Feldenkrais work and uh, all, it's all, I love it all. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. This is a great question uh, from uh, Ruth. Ruth, uh, what percentage of clients successfully complete the teacher training? 
So that is a really good question because the student teaching and mentoring, you have to be more self-motivated for. I do, this is the easiest time ever, ever. This is online programming uh, for people to complete their teacher training. And in fact, it just got easier with this particular last group because we just keep improving the ways we can help you fulfill your mentoring and teacher student, student teaching hours um, because you can do a lot of it within the class, but some of it you have to do on your own. So I'm guessing in this upcoming class, I'm guessing that we will be more like 60% will complete and probably 40 will not, at least not in the next year or two. They'll struggle in a little bit, straggle in a little bit here and there. So what will definitely not happen is I will not chase you down to finish your, your teacher training. I mean, if you're going to teach people, you do need to have some level of umph in your desire to teach and complete your certification. So I don't believe in chasing you down to finish it out. Uh, but, but man, have we made it simpler, easier to help you finish. The truth is a lot of people sign up for teacher training and they never really were that serious about teaching. And that's okay. That's true of any program. That's true of massage therapy. That's true of yoga trainings. That's true. They, 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 they even graduate and they never do anything with it maybe teach maybe once or twice. That's the majority actually out of all those programs. And I used to feel really bad about that, but I don't anymore because I see that the transformation that happens for people is really real. And if people come in with different intentions or a maybe, you know, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't, I'll see how it goes, that, that all is okay. Um, so I'm thinking it'll be 60% this round, Ruth, maybe, maybe higher. Uh, that will completely finish and get the actual certification with their mentoring and student teaching hours. But by November this year, most of them will have done their student teaching hours and um, they'll only maybe be short, maybe like six hours uh, if, if, if they're short any, because they're all setting up mentoring sessions with me now so I can see how they're doing. And then um, the mentoring, again, there's lots and lots of ways to fulfill your mentoring hours that work for each person. Uh, online has made it so, so much simpler, so much simpler. It's um, really sweet how much simpler it's made it. I think the quality of teachers we're graduating has actually been improving every year uh, in the, since we've gone online. It was good before, but I actually would never have expected it to be better online, but I, I think that it actually is because it's making it so much simpler for the teachers, the, the future teachers to work together and to build, uh, build in work between when they used to travel to Cincinnati for several times a year, they would come in for three or four days and then they would leave for two months. Then we'd come back in for three or four days and they didn't often do anything in between they would just do their three or four days. It wasn't easy to connect because nobody was really online much. And, the, and even if they were, some others weren't. Now everybody's there together online. And I, I think it's fabulous, fabulous. Really, really fabulous. Then what else does she say? Do you know if any healthcare centers or wellness centers have been approached to offer Bones for Life programs? I do not know that. Um, I don't know that many of, of the people up in Canada and how active they are. So I don't know that. Unfortunately, the cost may be prohibitive to many people that would love to engage in the program. It would be amazing if it could be offered on a larger scale, connecting the healthcare system. I, I agree, it would be amazing. It would absolutely be amazing. Um, and um, I mean, I am, you know, I think that it has a real, super big potential to be offered in wellness centers and be very, very popular, super, super popular. Uh, partly because, you know, let's be realistic about the number of people who sign up for classes and get injured in classes. It's big. So this program bridges a gap that's often uh, in place in, um, 
facilities. Uh, it also often they have trouble having things, they would, may offer things in a chair, but a lot of times it's only strengthening and stretching and I'm not knocking it, but it doesn't necessarily as directly connect to function. So you don't get this immediate improvement in, in uh, walking. Yeah, it would be wonderful. Uh, good. Okay, everyone, that is definitely a wrap. Thank you, Katrina, for being here with us in the series and helping us out. And thank all of you for who've hung out with us in these days and are watching this on replay. We appreciate you a great deal. Bye-bye.